<laughs> that might be the actual intro. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. One. Wrong <laughs> rigatoni, more like wrong turn. More like wrong, right? t- wrong turneroni. <laughs> turneroni, am I right? May I have your attention, please? They're coming to get you, Barbara. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Horror. Something even more terrible than you. Hey there, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's episode. This is the real intro. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still putting in the rigatoni okay, part. Yeah. I'm, I, you know what? Halfway through, I decided we're putting it in. Right. Welcome to this week's episode of Hollow Weekly. We have a new segment that should be relatively easy to get through. Um, the name of it, Watching Wrong Turn the wrong way that is that's the, <laughs> okay yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's the name yeah. i got real jazzed dude i started talking yeah, about yeah. it i was like i was like because most shows yeah. they start from the beginning and yeah. go forward i was like well we're putting this bitch in reverse and it's called wrong turn wrong way wrong turn the wrong way so if you're not familiar with the wrong turn franchise uh the first one is absolute gold I'm gonna say that right now. We did, a re- we did a review a long time. I don't know how long ago it was, yeah, but yeah. I know we did a, re- a review going back to it. I think it was maybe "How Low Can We Go" or something like that. I remember yeah. revisiting it and having the same feelings I had when I first watched it. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's yeah. one of those franchises where uh, you know we look it up, you forget, you, you you blink, you know. Next thing you know, you're in your 30s, and there's seven of these. <laughs> there's seven. seven. There's seven. Wrong- is there, or is there eight? Is there seven? I, I think it's seven, including this week's this episode. One. The uh, we are starting with the. Um, I can't call it what it's what I think they want me to say it. I can't call this a remake. I don't know what it is. I don't know what this movie is. It's, it's called Wrong Turn, but it wasn't. It has zero wrong turns. Zero. <laughs> there's zero. no. Yeah. There's, there's, okay. Let's start with that. It's got two. I got, I got this. There's. I can think of two things wrong with this title. <laughs> yeah. There's, at, at no point in time do they make a wrong turn. Yeah. There's a. I. I know when the writer director would say they made the wrong turn. It would be when they're hiking in the App- Appalachian Mountains trail mm. and the guy goes let's go see the the the, the <clears throat> what was it, the civil war, civil war yeah. fort yeah. that's not a wrong they, they what'd you say they picked that they way. picked they they, yeah, they went that way they decided to go that yeah, way they, was, yeah they decided to go that way it wasn't like they were like hey no i think it's this way no it's this way boom yeah. there's your wrong turn no. these motherfuckers were like we are definitely heading in this direction yes. you can't stop us um Let's put a little context on okay. this, okay? We had to get that out of our system because the whole time we're watching the movie, Trevor and I are just like, <laughs> there there's was been, still... There's been no wrong turn there's whatsoever. There's been no wrong turns. Um, classic wrong turn, uh, if we go back to the first one, mm. uh, there is, there's like a big traffic accident. Character actually makes the wrong turn. Then they run into these three inbred hillbillies and a slasher film follows. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first one with a bunch of really, very, very cool Stan Winston designs. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact... Uh, when we did our assault on precinct 13 episode, you had sent me a video of John Carpenter talking about Rio Bravo on Turner classic movies. And it was really, really good. That same, uh, YouTube channel, uh, right afterwards, auto played to its next video. And it was a random 50 minute behind the scenes of the first wrong turn. Really? Oh man. Yeah. And, and it's not like the one you would see on a DVD where like they're talking to the actors. It's just like <laughs> random footage of set, like <laughs> yeah. them doing shit. So it's really cool. Yeah. Um, Fast forward, they they had wrong turn two, three, four, five, six, mm-hmm. and now this one being the seventh one brings us to today's film, Wrong Turn twenty twenty one. Um, but self titled, self titled. <laughs> but the reason we can't call it Wrong Turn is this, <laughs> this is this isn't Wrong Turn. No, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, man. <laughs> if if this movie was titled anything different, anything different. I would think this is actually like not a bad movie. I, I would describe it as the ritual meets uh, the village, is what this movie we watch today is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, not the you know, the ritual in the sense of like they go through this you know wilderness, you know for you know they have very different reasons. One, I think they're they're just college students <laughs> who want to get out. The other one are celebrating their dead friend. But then the village, in the sense of like there's a big twist. It's like there's this yeah. working yeah. village in the middle of this. Yeah, spoiler. And the middle of the Appalachian trails. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> Mad spoilers on wrong turn. I I just I the foundation they're called. The foundation. Why do you think they called this wrong turn? I have no idea. Like I I don't know because it's it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like, it, let me be clear. I I'm gonna I'm gonna I, you know because in Hollywood spirit I don't like to go into shit on a movie to shit yeah, on a movie. Yeah, yeah. Shit on a movie. And 
I, and, I, and I mean what I say. If this movie was titled anything differently, it's not like a terrible. Yeah. It's 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 your middle of the road film. It's not great. Mm-hmm. It's bad in parts, mm-hmm. but it's not bad all the way through. Mm-hmm. But man, this has no business being called Wrong Turn. I'm kind of upset by it, man. I'll be That's, honest. Yeah, it's way too long. It's an hour and 50. It's an hour and 50. Long term movies should not be an hour and 50. I don't know. No, let me give the Google review. I like to, I like to read the Google review. It's very, right. very simple. Or, or the synopsis. Okay. Uh, despite warnings to stick to the Appalachian Trail, <laughs> which is another... T- despite very vague warnings. <laughs> they could be... The <laughs> vaguest of warnings. <laughs> These people had so much useful information in their back pocket that they absolutely <laughs> refuse to give anyone traveling through their neck of the woods. It yeah. is like a ridiculous... <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing. Okay, let me get through, let me get through this. We got a lot... <laughs> Like, this movie is sixty five percent Rotten Tomatoes, man. I don't get it. Okay, despite <laughs> despite very vague warnings to stick to the Appalachian trails, hikers stray off course across into land inhibited by a hidden community of mountain dwellers used a uh, deadly means to protect their way of life. Suddenly, under siege, the friends uh, seem headed to the point of no return unless one man can reach them in time. That synopsis <laughs> doesn't really even add up with the movie, man. Mm. The synopsis reads like a like a an action film from the early two thousands. Yeah, I would see that one. I yeah. would see that one. I would see that. I would I would see that. But you know what else I would see that came out in the early two thousands? Long term. The original fucking <laughs> wrong turn, dude. Well, this movie called The Foundation. I'd probably go see that. So okay, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about these vague warnings. So in this movie, the kid, these college kids, who are riddled with the 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 universe universal question of i need to make a choice <laughs> the one is i think the, the rest are just oh yeah. kind of hanging the one out. is they all got jobs or app developers the one has there was it the, the couple have two bistros yeah in I'm new york sure, i'm not sure why they're on this they trip. got that manhattan real estate <laughs> i don't know why they're on this trip <laughs> yeah, know, that they, makes zero sense like they, those are razor thin margins <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you, you guys can't afford to take a take a week off but yeah. they keep talking about this choice this Good. choice, which we need to get to in a little bit, because I don't know what the payoff of that. She never made a choice. I mean, she made a choice at the end of the movie to go with him, but then to kill him. But like everything's a choice, but like they didn't make clear like what this grand profound thing is. So, anyways, if you're a college kid traveling through this town and there is a group of people who in the South decided that the states were going to go to war, so they decided to build this. It's supposed Weird. to be in Virginia. It's supposed to be in Virginia. Yeah, so these Virginians, right before the, the, the break of the Civil War, decided to create something called the Foundry. Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation. <laughs> I think called the Foundry's the, a club, I think. The, 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 the Foundation. And then they decided to in, in, inherit all these, what is it, like... <laughs> Like sal, I keep saying salvic. Is it like I don't know, Slavic, 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 yeah, Slavic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slavic. It's part of it is. Well, it was like ten families, like in Virginia. I don't know where they come up with like the Slavic. Yeah, there's like they're using like Viking horns as torches. Yeah. But anyways, it, it, knowing that this is out in the woods, that's just a hop, skip away. Everybody knows that. Everyone knows they're there. You, <laughs> you have an obligation not to tell anyone. No. But to warn them as vaguely as possible. They walk into this inn, and the lady working behind the register just goes, stay on the trails. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> it's kind of dangerous yep. out there. And then the guys at the bar are like, you might need a guide like us. It's dangerous out there. By the way, I'm going to beat the shit out of your dad in the third act. So <laughs> I hope you're okay with that, lady. <laughs> and then they show up as the hero is going, well, I beat him up just to send him a warning. Send him a warning so he wouldn't go up here. But, you know, he's still here. That but was, I think it was on like a monologue of how his what nephew got yeah up sometimes like this is useful information you should have just told him yeah they they all the all these townsfolk have so much information that they don't want to give them but then at the end of the film they all hate them yeah they all hate them they all just like spill their guts and it's like no this is this. I was like this is all. <laughs> why did you say that earlier really? why are you telling me this in the middle of the woods while I'm bleeding out like the guy like so the main character. Or not the main character, but one of them is we're following around uh, Private Joker from <laughs> Matthew Modine from uh, Full Metal Jacket, looking for his daughter who uh, was in Lost in the Woods, uh, not because she took a wrong turn, nope. just because she. <laughs> it looks yeah. like that was bound to happen. She made a choice, and she made she, she made, made lots of choices. She made a choice. Uh, his uh, his character's name was Scott, rhymes with snot, and that's right. Um, 
doesn't really matter. Yeah, I know. Even when <laughs> even when he's in the bar and the townsfolk come up to him, yeah. At no point he's like, I'm looking for my daughter, and they're like, Well, I'm gonna beat you up. Wait, what he said? <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. like, I lost a nephew. Yeah. Like, we should probably te- we should team up. <laughs> yeah, it's like the first, the second scene. He's in this bar. And goes, Have you seen this girl? Showing it to this guy who shows up later to be like, oh, I just wanted to warn you. But all he does is just like, I mean, just like threaten them and <laughs> like, yeah, like just... say all kinds of like shit and stuff. Just going, yeah, I know those those people. They're up in the woods with these <laughs> other crazy people. I'll help you later. Yeah, we'll get some guns yeah. and some moonshine and because really... the one girl like helped me, like told me I had yellow in my eyes, so I have, so she saved my life. That was a really funny payoff. I was like, what the fuck? I actually like that payoff, but he, it, what they didn't play it for comedy, they played it as, like no, sincere. Seriously. He was like, it really helped my life. Yeah, <laughs> You're like, no, I on, turned man. my life around. I turned my life. I was like, around. you're still in the same bar. <laughs> like, yeah, what? It still sucks. I think you still you're in the the bar at the daytime now. Like now you're really fucked. Yeah, it's. It's a weird. This is a weird. It's a, it's. I don't want to say it's not enjoyable. This is like mm-hmm. a, like. I mean, you could there's 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 there's. I was kind of rooting for some of the kids to the to college die. kids to die. Oh yeah. And, you know, it had that. You know, like I just, I took notes throughout the movie, but the first one I said I'll just go through these and see what <laughs> okay, which, is... which one you find striking because yeah. this these are these are interesting interesting <laughs> okay, thoughts. Okay. I took zero notes. Right. I um. I don't know why I took notes. This wasn't wrong turn. No. Uh. Well, the dialogue's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. The dialogue's kind of wonky. It it doesn't feel very natural. But mm-hmm. midway through the or midway through me thinking that, I was like, "Why do I give a fuck what the dialogue is? <laughs> this is this is wrong turn, baby. Yeah, we're about to see some mutant freaks and lots of gore." And so I was like, "I was like, you know what? Don't be so critical. Like, it's not Citizen Kane. It's uh, wrong turn." And I was like, Meh. "And I was like, yeah, we're gonna get to the good stuff." And the good stuff does it. By the way, if you haven't seen this one, but you see the first one, there's zero mutants in this one. There's you know there's the, you know inbreded freaks. There's none of that. No. Every all villains now are just Virginians who decided to act like they were from like you know some weird cold place in Europe mm-hmm. and call it a day. That's yeah. that's what they wear skull masks. Yeah, they, and you keep thinking they're going to take off these masks and reveal you know the you know the the, the, the I keep calling them mutants. You know, yeah, just, yeah. The, just those, those freaks. Nope, it's just it's just it's just it's just Thomas, you just, know, Jerry and just Tom dirty, and Jerry. <laughs> dirty faces. I mean, it's just like dirty people. Yeah, just a bunch of dirty faces. Oh, you made you made, you had a real visceral reaction. So it's about friends that go hiking. Uh the, the morning of before they go hiking, the one girl goes out for a jog and you were like, "Why is she jogging before her hike?" Oh like, yeah. Why would <laughs> I'm, she... I'm very opposed to exercising. <laughs> I'm very suspect of people who exercise. Yeah, it doesn't. I, I mean, I would have thought nothing of it. Like, it'd just be like, oh yeah, okay, they're trying to show that you know this yeah. person's you know got some gruff in them. Like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But I was at the same time like, no one's jogging before they hike. At eight, 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 eight a.m. was no. the, was the call time basically. Yeah, so that because he gotta... said that be, the before the night before a.m. We're all getting up, so she's getting up at like six or seven and running. And they were at the this bar. entire neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, and they were at the bar until early in the morning. It had to have been yeah. one thirty. So there's. I think she went back to her with her with her boyfriend and like had a little love in time. So I was like, when did you sleep? You haven't slept anything. I wish I could get that much done in the morning. <laughs> I know. I was just. It's funny. I was just talking to Jenny about like you know because we all you know we work from home and shit like that and so like. I every, I usually get up around 10, 10, yeah. 10 o'clock, you know, and I, you know, I usually work late into the evenings, but like, I was fantasizing like, man, getting up at seven, being yeah. done by noon, the rest of the, I wish, the yeah. rest of the day <laughs> to do stuff, you know what I mean? You know, put a little work in, you know? My, and, my, <laughs> my first two hours is complete chaos. <laughs> yeah. You have kids, man. That's it's just like, that's it's just like chaos. <laughs> it's just, I wake up to chaos. You don't know like, what ah. you're waking up to. Every, every yeah. morning is a like gamble for you. I get to there. work and I take a break. I mean, it's like, I get to work. I'm like, thank God. Coffee. Now I can figure out what, what where am I at? <laughs> What's going what, on? What am I doing? Let me read the papers. Yeah. See what's going on in the world. Yeah. I get my coffee and it's like, it's is your home away from home? Yeah. But no, I can't. I can't. I can't get. I can't get behind taking a a hike or a jog before a hike. No, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. That's 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 strike. That's strike one. Yeah. You know they didn't. You know they didn't jog in the morning in the first. <laughs> the no, first, they sure didn't. First one. It was that they cool guy from season three of Dexter. Uh, okay. Oh, I said. Okay, I said I dig the group of friends and look forward to the app guy getting killed because he was a real shithead in the bar. App guy. Yeah. He was. He was. He was a dick. Yeah. yeah. He was a dick, and so I. I thought that they were setting up 
most horror, you know, slash films, they set up your group of characters. They, uh, usually, a couple of them that you you root for their death. Mm-hmm. They do something to the townspeople. You know, they're all high and mighty. You know, they're being, you know, that's this guy. Yeah, that's this guy. And then they kind of didn't. They didn't lean into it. They kind of they tried to pump the brakes a little bit on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with him getting executed, and then uh, <laughs> you know all that, sh- all that other shit. I um. I, I, I wish they had just leaned into this guy's a jerk. This guy's an asshole. He's going to get it bad. But then they had this weird human. It, they should, it should have been like a thing where it's like they, they could have swerved where he would have been the, like the last one to survive as well. Yeah. Like he would have been like still alive. Kind of like Cabin Fever, the first one. Yeah. Where like the asshole kind of like survives until the end until he like he's like, I made it. I made it. And then everybody sh- the, the, the townsfolk shoot him. Right. And, like, at the end. <laughs> he's, he's like, I made it. Oh, my God. Like, because I was a dick. Because that's a great. And it's a great. I think that's a great. Uh, pull the rug out from under. Yeah, because you want you're like oh, he should have got it. And yeah, then he didn't. But then he did. There we go. Like, <laughs> and all these guys with the yeah, See that shit. movie has good payoff for yes. things they set up, which mm. I want to talk about the weird ending and credit scene. Okay. Um. So a certain oh, <laughs> when they were hiking through the woods, I was like, this feels like an Abercrombie and Fitch ad. Yes. yes and they're doing does. random shit like they see a waterfall and like they throw their hands up like this is awesome. awesome. <laughs> like, no, no one does that, dude. That's, that's that's like <laughs> what was the thing too like that's the thing I, I was talking about before about the the twenty minutes beforehand right like if it's done right you're like with these characters and it's like it's fun but these are like totally it's just like so false of a friendship first, first twenty minutes of this movie I mean they just jump right into the dad's investigation yeah it is it is just he's 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 traveling around trying to figure things out asking questions probably because if you start with the other tw- the, the the next twenty minutes. It would have just been like, what's what's going on? What kind of travel log is this? The movie, the movie started like it was late for work. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. shit, we gotta be telling a story yeah. about people getting yeah. killed by inbred people. We're gonna take out the inbreds, though. Don't worry, we're gonna, we got skull masks. And <laughs> Don't we got, we got <laughs> shit. My boss will be mad at me. Yeah, that's the only way I can describe how this movie starts. It feels like it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark death. death. <laughs> Instead of running from a big boulder, it's that big log. Oh yeah, that was a good sequence. I though. liked it. That was a good sequence. That it was awesome. very, very fast paced. A lot of cuts. Yeah. Um, felt very disorienting, but like it looked great. Like I felt, I felt like they were in some serious danger of getting squashed by a big ass log. Yeah, up to, up to that point, I was like, eh, but like that, I was like, oh yeah, cool. Once we get to the good stuff, it's gonna start paying. I off. thought that was gonna be the turning point. I was like, "There we go." But then it didn't. Yeah, I was like, "We're gonna, we're gonna see, we're gonna hear some weirdos hollering in the in the woods, yeah. and we're gonna get into it." We didn't get that. We did get some cool smashed heads, though. Smash heads, yeah, were, were on display. Yeah, when a lot. they, I was surprised because I remember Wrong Turn as being very, very gory. Yeah, you know I, the the first one. I don't remember the gore, but I remember it being like very practical heavy like that was a big thing yeah and so i was really expecting like a super done dirty type of yeah film yeah and i i i thought because this was called wrong turn i thought one of its stronger suits was going to be like hey this is like you know i don't know how much they make this for it feels like they're making for like two million dollars i think mm-hmm. that's why i saw the budget was for some of them but it's like hey we got two million dollars but we're going to show you some cool ass gore because that's what you do with the two million dollar budget horror film yes they did show a couple I think three smashed head. Well, one shot head, two smash heads. And they, and they look good. But for a lot of the other deaths, they really cut away from a lot of them. Like when the one mm. uh, lady friend falls down the pit and it is impaled by like 30 things. And she's like, help me. <laughs> Sister, there's no help. And you're like, yeah. you're so dead. Uh, when she gets shot. I know I said I wouldn't leave you, but I'm going to leave. Is basically what that boyfriend said. He was like, I have to. I promise I wouldn't leave you, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And like, yeah, like I can't. Yeah. If I if, if I pick you up, you will bleed to death yes, so yes. fast. You have like several like seven inch diameter like holes through like your chest. Yeah, and she's like, oh, I'm okay. It's completely over. Um, but when you do see a smashed, practical looking, I mean, I don't know if it's practical or if they did a digital. Maybe I'm, I'm guessing both. Um, didn't look bad. It looked great. It looked crunchy. Yeah, looked painful. Yeah, they looked like they weren't digital. So that's why if they were digital, that was a good job for sure. Um, my my notes. I I, I then hop to everyone. All these friends can die. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That yes. was the weird. That's okay, nice. so that was what I thought was kind of weird. Like, and it's weird. Like, I, I I'm I'm gonna. There's a lot of things that like I want to like 
pick at and talk about and like maybe figure out like why they did it mm-hmm. and it sounds like i like I, I didn't like the movie i still have a low hum of like this wasn't a bad like i just feel like i need to emphasize that yeah, like yeah, yeah. i didn't hate this movie yeah. there's just a lot i didn't like one of the things that i wanted to bring up uh that, that popped up in the next notes is when their first friend dies from getting smashed by a log mm-hmm. they kind of like Except for like the one guy, they're all like kind of cool with it. Like, yeah. like, like they... they're standing around the smash head for a while. Yeah, and... kind of discussing things. I'm like, that's yeah, like they're talking like their friend's life didn't just pass. Yeah, and then the By one... a giant log to the face. Yeah, and that came out of nowhere. <laughs> yes, and, and then what's his name, Darius? Darius. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. His th- his finger was like completely backwards, and they go, "Your finger." And he goes, "Huh?" Oh. It looks bad. Yeah. I'm like, dude, there's the no... like I get adrenaline's rushing, but there's no yeah. way you look at that and don't just start screaming like. Yeah. A maniac yeah. your f- fingers are bent 45 degrees to the wrong direction yeah the absolute wrong direction but i just felt the wrong turn the, oh that yeah the wrong oh, that's close we're getting there we'll yeah. figure out where the, uh, the wrong turn actually yeah. happens but it, their friend's dead and like they're kind of like they kind of ebb and flow out of like oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah like, that's sure yeah yeah like, like her, his boyfriend is like freaking out but then, like, yeah, we should probably go because it's gonna start raining soon. You know, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to be a bummer, but <laughs> but it's gonna start raining and we're gonna be kind of we're gonna be we're gonna be wet. You know, I know, be, ugh, gross. But yeah, the boyfriend, uh, he was he was very upset about <laughs> yes. the death, and I felt like everyone should have been that level mm-hmm. plus navigating. Yes, but it was just him, and everyone else is like, which way's north? <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, I don't know. It would happen to Skylar. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He got, he, got, he got in the face. Um, yeah, there's no urgency after a while. Every now and then there would be some, but like for the most part, there's like, uh, we should play Go or something. I'm like, it's. They never really dis- dis- explained the giant log either, did they? I mean, I, we assumed it's a trap. Right? For for what? But exactly, but it's, exactly, it's like <laughs> for an what, elephant. You just like leave. You got this giant log, like just on the hill, just waiting. I don't for recall it. them stepping on a trap. Mm-mm. I don't. I think she. I thought they said that the, uh, the Jen, Jenny, the main uh, protagonist in this. I think they said that she saw somebody on the hill or something, but I don't remember seeing anybody. So. Oh, I think they were seeing like figures, yeah, or yeah. maybe just a little girl who was like something jumping around the forest. My um, my notes immediately went yeah to this entire group of friends can die. Yeah. Uh, sure. After that, because I was like, oh, they kind of like uh, true, true. They kind of suck. Um. So then, now that we're in, now that the friends are very deep into the forest, mm-hmm. you start to see more of these like uh, foundation members mm-hmm. who are where wear, are wearing these like really kick ass masks. The masks look cool. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, look, yeah. they look intimidating. They look very great. Um, they are supernaturally fast. Yes, they make and quiet. They are so quiet and i get that like they've been hunting there for generations and like you know mm-hmm. they know the word but i mean you can only step on a leaf so soft yeah, before yeah, you yeah. hear or you know before you hear someone coming up after yes. you am i wrong yes you know like yes very much yeah you know, <laughs> just they, it was it was it was batman-esque how yeah, they yeah, were yeah. disappearing like even the the one um one of the guys from the foundation was at the bar he was standing next to their car yeah they never ex- so like they can bop in and out unlike the... i guess they can come down yeah i don't understand why they were down at the yeah and if they were down there why didn't the townspeople just be like oh wait he looks kind of weird yes yeah, i think he's from the foundation we should probably kill him because he's become a nephew like yeah it's like the, it's a creepy foundation guy but even him when he's standing next to their car when they're coming home drunk before their 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 journey um he disappears in like broad. I mean, it's, I mean, there's it's not broad daylight. It's, it's nighttime, but there's like a there's like one light shining on their car. I don't mm-hmm. know how he disappears. And you hear one of the characters go, "How did he get away so fast?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Come on, yeah. man, come on, stop it!" Like you have to like like base this in some kind of reality, please. You gotta think that the guy. You gotta put your, yourself in that guy's shoes too, because he's standing there by the car. The one guy throws a bottle at him, and you know calls him a hillbilly whatever yeah and like it's like you're the guy and he's like i gotta wait for them all to turn around you've got to be like be so focused on watching them all go like you know like turn away from you and that's when you take off and it's a pretty Cause open it's, cause shot it's yeah it's basically what happens it's just like you gotta be that guy going okay turn away turn away turn away 
I'll have my gun. Go. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like that's a and the shot. Uh, it's a pretty <laughs> wide shot when he's standing next to that car. So he had to book. Yeah. He had to book. It yeah. To get out of there, like he had yeah. his Jordans late. Yeah. This is like. <laughs> Um, like that's a skill that you like. Like, they, he didn't just walk off and happen to not be seen. He's like, he's got wait for them all to be like. They never, they never said how they felt. The foundation never said how they felt about the Civil War either, which makes me wonder what side they were on. They're, yeah. they're a bunch of, they, they, look, they look like a bunch of goddamn traitors. Is, is what I see when they see the two, the two brothers mm-hmm. carrying the the app guy mm-hmm. hog tie, hog tied to a. Dick. First of all, they were like, we were going to put him back. Where he <laughs> yes, yeah. You don't hawk, you don't tie someone to a stick and carry him like you're about to put him over a fucking fire. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, just carry him. Just carry him. Like, I get it's hard, but there's two of you. You'll figure it out. Yes. You, you, you couldn't carry someone in a more visual way, way that says, I'm going to eat, eat, eat his face. Yes. I'm having him for dinner. Yeah. So the just the, the they were very the, the college kids were very justified in bashing their faces in with a yes. stick. <laughs> and then they're like, we're just trying to give them directions. Well, we were, we're just trying to send them back. Yeah. They maybe don't speak any of that weird language you have. Uh, <laughs> it's, why'd you have an apple in his mouth? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, why are you basting him? <laughs> his yeah, own I, juices. <laughs> what are you doing? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't, I don't believe any of you. <laughs> Do I smell oregano on you? Yeah, why is he, why you smell, why you smell like an Olive Garden? <laughs> What's this? You smell, what? you smell good. You smell kind of great. What is that? Is that rosemary? <laughs> yeah. These guys know how to season, but that was so. After so, they the the college could see them carrying their friend, all dressed up like a Thanksgiving tur- turkey. They kill one of them. Jennifer at that point in time starts to get kind of annoying. She is like she's kind of fighting for the rights of the people who yeah. at that time they try to make a twist at the end that all these traps are for big game for you know for you know deer and shit like that yeah. so they can get to the winner but like mm. it looked like like why did it fit around that human angle it's kind of perfect yeah yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like I don't know like why you're well, this is this isn't adding up and she starts to like defend them and I was like oh Jennifer you're kind of annoying like I really because the one friend says that too <laughs> it's just like, yeah it's like we didn't know what was going to happen what's happening here like, yeah like we need to just get out of here because we <laughs> I was going to say because we made a wrong turn but they didn't because no, they, didn't. they did not they didn't do that so they're supernaturally fast oh there was one shot this is this was just kind of nitpicky uh, when uh, Jennifer gets knocked out by her head getting slammed against the rocks. It just felt it was edited. It was edited kind of weird. It just felt it felt very. <laughs> they did a few of those types of smack cut type of deals. They did a lot of those. Yeah, and it felt it just feels. I mean, one's okay, you know, but like they just kept they just kept <laughs> they just kept that. knocking people out, of them, kept <laughs> yeah. going black. Everyone's getting like, like we need a transition. Yeah. Hit them in the head. Conk. All right, there we Wind go. Wind out. Yeah, and it's you know it's it's funny like you know I was watching a TikTok of some. So, some some fighter guy martial artist some guy and he was talking about like knockouts in movies that was yeah. his whole thing i get a lot of movie stuff in the tiktok feed he's yeah. like people don't get knocked out like that like like yeah. it's usually like you know they just get hit in the head really hard they're like what the fuck <laughs> and then they got like a brain problem like yeah. there would be so much more like brain problems in this community with how yes. much they're knocking people out what did you think of the um the uh i want i want to call it the village reveal <laughs> the village of, yeah of, of that beautiful fence that they have yeah they have that their... nobody can find apparently but it's just like this gray fence gray wooden fence yeah they had a full-on anvil in there too yeah <laughs> like where did you get that yeah it's like they had the full village and it's like nobody can find this i was like are you sure like it's pretty big <laughs> it's pretty big and it's like and this fire. fence doesn't look it's not exactly camouflage it's just like no it looked like it was spray painted silver for some reason it was i did not I didn't see that twist coming. No. If you had told me, hey, they're remaking Wrong Turn, <laughs> but village. like it's the villain, I would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I, um, if it just, if this movie wasn't called Wrong Turn, then that reveal would have been pretty sick. Like, yeah. oh, that's cool. It's kind of like this plus, you know, the village. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to not think of the village after this, that reveal, though. I know. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, it had to have been some other script that somebody had laying around. I was like, hey, let's just make it there long term. To, there has to be. Some some tweaks or something, but. I was, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it was. When it happened. It happened, I think, I think I was kind of like, what 
the fuck is that's okay yeah, it's exactly what I, was I, was just, I was just i think i was just getting more like oh, give me get out of here that's exact yes <laughs> when when they started dragging him through and like they're showing like the townsfolk like, you know i keep thinking of the one guy with the anvil i'm like first of all like <laughs> yes. did you make that or did someone take their chevy tahoe yeah. and back it into the yes. thing because like that are those things like like super fucking heavy when they but when they were going through the town that's when i had to like surrender yeah. to the idea of like <laughs> yes. this isn't the wrong turn i want it to be <laughs> no you know what i mean like oh, yeah. and i was i was when that and i was just trying to think like okay we're not gonna get mm-hmm. i still held out a little bit of hope for like you know maybe they'll reveal some kind of inbreded monstrosity or something or something like that would give us the wrong turn thing but i but for the most part i was like I just gonna add this internal talk of, buddy. I just don't think it's gonna happen. No. Just, this isn't this isn't the movie you want it to be. And they weren't that bad of people. Like when he like they they put the they they they, they capture the kids and they put them on trial mm-hmm. for the murder of the the one dude Samuel. I think his name was. Oh yeah, person. the brother. And like there was all legit reasons of why they should kill these kids. Like it's honestly it was like they're not wrong. They're not wrong. They're not right. wrong. It's just like everything was like this guy was a dick and he yeah. Sure, he was hogtied, but I was like, eh, I mean, it looked pretty dangerous. I mean, yeah. So I was like, hey, they got points. <laughs> we gotta talk. We gotta talk about. Um, they got points, man. God, I hate that his name is what? Oh my God, is it Venable? Is yeah, that, yeah, Venable. Venable is that the yeah Bill played by Bill Sage? Bill Sage, yeah. <laughs> Who is like Sears catalog handsome throughout the whole movie? Like yeah. these people are supposed to be like dirty, gritty, yeah. you know, you know, just just working in the mud all day to make the foundation work mm-hmm. for hundreds of years after the Civil War. Yeah, you, you, every time you like would like what they're doing is like you have to think back. It's like they've been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. They would be a little better than this. Like right. like last, I was like, it feels like it was created yesterday. Yes, type of thing. Like, yeah. And, and, and the fact that like they had like no innovations in technology, despite no. despite homeboy being like next to like you know their 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 suburban you know yeah. whatever car, yeah. and, like I just don't understand any of that. But throughout the whole movie, like they they for the rest of the villagers at the foundation, they they dirty them up mm. like they're um you know they got a bunch of dirt on them and all sorts of stuff. He is just he, he is so clean. I mean, I guess he's like the runner, you know, the the the, the ruler of. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, he's got like his 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 animal pelts all over him, and he comes out with a skull head. Yeah, but when he takes it off, it's he looks like an like your dad from the eighties. Like he, does. He, he looks like an like nineteen eighty five dad with well, his with his hair just like perfectly blow dried and his nicely trimmed beard. And it's got which, which is like, like his mustache was like black, but everything else was like gray, right? He had that just for men. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> he had just, that just for, for men. He looked like he just stepped off of just for men. Kind. They did. They did show <laughs> a, the the one woman and the little girl from the village, sort of in town. They were selling yeah or something like that. Yeah, but like I don't understand why they were there. If they all need money, what's, yeah. what are you doing there? Like, what are you in town for? Like supplies? Because if you're in town, but then they were trying to make it sound like how self sufficient. Yeah, the foundation was, but then again, you're like running into town. If you're running into town, yeah, you're not self sufficient. That is where you saw the, the the RV that pops up later. That I just realized that too. Remember they were hanging out by the RV. Oh yeah, but that that doesn't really. I don't understand. That doesn't really pay then, off. Like, then what's the whole point of the foundation? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. But they're running around in RVs. Give me freaks. <laughs> Come Give on. Give me mutants. I mean, just like lean into it, like the, the, the <laughs> craziness of it. What do you think it, the film? Like was trying to say with, I have no idea. I was trying to piece it together, dude. I I was like, okay, if they're if we're going if we're going to like you know rural Virginia, mm-hmm. and then we're going to go you know demon of the woods to the people who you know like are running out of you know underneath these trees. I was like, maybe it's something about classism. That's that's usually the go to. Yeah, maybe. I, I couldn't find it. I can I honestly, God, I don't know. What I felt like it was on the wrong side of that as well. That that argument as well. Because like oh, yeah. every every time they would the the like supposedly hillbillies or whoever would say something about these four campers, I was, I was like, they're not wrong. Like it's like <laughs> it's like everything's like right. they, they was like not wrong. It's just like I'm not sure who's on the who's right and who's wrong in this situation. And I think which and at the end we're supposed to be rooting for the the kids, Jenny the you know the main yeah. main girl, but like you don't because it's kind of like well she's kind of she has a big decision to make which you never. We never oh, figure out what God. her big decision was, and she's talking, avoiding her dad about it as well. And it's just like, and at the end, she's just like, 
I guess goes to work for her dad. I guess that maybe that was the big decision. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any because I thought for a second she became a cop because she was all about right and wrong. Right. Because it made it look I was like, oh, maybe. She's yeah, a, when she was driving, she had like the little blue. Yeah, collar I was going, like, oh, maybe she became a cop, and maybe that would be a little more of a like kind of an ending. Right. But this was just like, oh, here's your blueprints, Dad, because you're an architect, like everybody in these movies. <laughs> well, dad's an architect. <laughs> Everybody's an architect. Yeah. You know? They're always handing them blueprints. Yeah, it's always a planner, and you know, whatever. So. Yeah, I know they they. They tried to set up the whole like the you know you have a choice, to me, which is funny because I think The Last of Us had a whole thing about choice. Mm. I think that's even one of the name of one of the songs, and like they deal with like sort of the bigger, mm. you know, philosophies of like trying to navigate through hard shit. Yeah, yeah. And this movie, they just they were like, hey, this part's supposed to be deep. Just believe me. Yeah, yeah. Just... This part's deep. It's about choice. You know what that means? Come on, use your noodle. This guy, this guy's, this guy's <laughs> right. Guys. This guy's right. This guy's on it. I don't know. The choice thing kind of landed flat on its face yeah <laughs> um let's see what else i got here uh i love oh i d- <laughs> there's parts of the movie that if they didn't name this wrong turn mm. that they tried to play differently i think would work really well like i think i think the the village aspect part could work really well mm. i actually liked the the part where they were like the brothers they settled this up for hunting yeah i don't believe them but <laughs> I don't trust anyone in a goddamn. It. But I like the idea of like that's what it's for. Like, hey, yeah. this is an actual sustainable thing. Like, if they had played a couple of these things a little bit differently, I think it would have been like a really, yeah, really solid movie. Um, and I, but the other thing I liked uh, was the um, the the townsfolks who were ready to go and shoot them. Yeah. Like, like if they had played that a little different, like they're at war with these people, or like you yeah, know, yeah. not maybe not a war, but maybe there's like you know. Some bad blood between them. That you know, there's an event that sets it off, that kicks it into motion. Like when mm-hmm. the dad gives him five grand, he's like, "I just want to take my, my kid through welding school." Like, yeah, I'll show you this fucking <laughs> story. Like, yeah. there's a, there's a lot of turns in this film. <laughs> the filmmakers made a, I mean, that's why they called it wrong turn when they were making the movie <laughs> and writing it. They made all the wrong decisions. They made all the wrong decisions. All the wrong decisions, which is weird because I'm going to pre- preference. I still, I t- weirdly did not hate the movie. I just, <laughs> this is what's blowing my mind about it. Yeah. Um, I just think if they had played a lot of the stuff they said of the film, if they went opposite, mm-hmm. I think this could have been like a really stellar, a stellar, stellar film. And um, they sped up everything a little bit cut 20 minutes yeah if you cut 20 minutes it would have been a little bit better you could have cut 20 got to minutes. everything a little faster like they were they were in the woods forever it felt like and i felt like the, uh one thing they could have done a little better that would have made the movie really unique is i wish they would have intercut the dad's investigation and the daughter and them hiking they did it a little bit yeah yeah. it was it was a it, it was it felt like they were mostly trying to get the daughters hiking out and then cutting back to dad mm-hmm. a little bit um, but I, I think they, I think they could have in a more elegant way cut between those two storylines that would have, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it would have just given it a better presentation. Yeah. They're, they're probably worried because it was like, it's like, it starts out with the dad, but then it like does one of those six weeks earlier and yeah. then you go with the, the kids and then you go up to present and then you go back to Matthew Modine doing whatever it is. They were probably just scared that people would be confused, but I don't think I don't think it would have confused anybody. Honestly. No, and I think it would have been a little, a little bit more, mm-hmm. you know, entertaining. In Dun- my opinion, Dunkirk style. Yeah, because Dunkirk's got like three different time times yeah. in that movie, but you don't feel it or realize it until like the third or fourth watch. You're like, oh wait, this this isn't all happening at once. It's happening. Yeah, Pulp Fiction style. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Like there's a like and and yeah, I, I was thinking about Dunkirk the yeah. other day. That was I, I kind of want to rewatch it. Not oh, were we talking about it? What's that? Dunkirk. Dunkirk mm. It was so incredibly loud in the theaters that it hurt my ears. And I was like, yeah, I yeah. want to rewatch it where it doesn't hurt my ears. I, I I think this movie had a lot of really good potential to mm. be like really great. Yeah, yeah. It's still middle, just middle, middle, middle of the road. Um, I think it got in its, it got in its own way type of thing. It's kind of like trying to say too much instead of just like trying to tell a story in like such a yeah. more economic way. Like that, there's a lot of that type of stuff, like kind of like showboating and like the guy's you know pontificating about this. I mean, he he does like three or four speeches. Oh my gosh! Dude. Yes. You know I mean, it's like and that, that's all that type of stuff. So you don't need any of that stuff. No. It's like you need like two or three lines of that, and be like, "No, we're gonna kill your friends." And Just cut straight to the yeah, right to the right to the chase. Um, he does have quite a bit of quite mm-hmm. a bit of monologues. Mm-hmm. What did you think about um, Darius six weeks 
end up being in this camp just fully committing oh yeah 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 the sustainable uh the sustainable what did, what did he do he had like a non-profit yeah he did non-profit and that's how they they saved his life because look you have a lot of, a lot of pipes here that are messed up this guy can fix them yeah he's like hmm okay hmm, plumbing would be cool and i can have babies and they're like okay cool yeah you're both you're both in yeah, it's like he was like, oh, and then people finally see me now here. I'm like, well, like we were saying, I was like, well, they, I mean, you were leading the group the most of the time. You had like a nonprofit. I think a lot of people were seeing you. Yeah, I didn't understand. You like, seemed all right. They brought up that character point. Yeah. Like they really just kind of pulled it out of their butts. Yeah. I'm seen here. <sighs> I mean, he has a speech at the beginning where he's like, I want to be known for this. And I was like, and which was just like, it doesn't matter. This does not, this has nothing to do with wrong turn. Like it's like, doesn't matter what. Like, like no. your your ambitions to be like, no, no. Your your amb- your ambitions should be to escape the hillbilly inbred mutants who are trying to chase you down because this is the wrong turn, baby. <laughs> and I thought I thought he would pop up at the end as well, helping them escape. But he just like, nope. Yeah, and I th- I'm I, gonna go to bed. You guys can do what you want. I won't say anything. <laughs> yeah, it's you like know, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna get bed. trouble. So there was some awesome moments, like when um, Jen's helping her dad escape. And that one creepy guy, he says, like, I can smell your juice. I'm I like, can okay. smell your juice. First of all, <laughs> yes. what, a, yes. what, a, what a gross line <laughs> to have. Like, is that, is that necessary? Um, I can smell you. It might have been juices. Juices. Yeah. It was plural. There was, there was a lot. There was a cocktail of, Something. of, of, of fluids. Um, Probably the best line in the movie. Her. That was, that was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it was unexpected for sure. Yeah. Um, Jen stabbing him was a great scene. Yes, I, thought, yes. I thought his death was really good because he 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 basically just turns the corner. And is like, hey, listen, I'm the film slime ball. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to do some slime ball shit. Yeah. This is what's gonna get the audience, you know, roaring. And the stabbing was great. She, she like she takes a lot of rage out on that dude. She stabs him like six hundred times. It's well, like, it's like she, they she's stabbing and stabbing, stabbing. They cut away from her to the dad. Who comes around the corner and she's still like stabbing him. Yeah, she, you're just, <laughs> she's like out of energy, but she's still going. She's like, step, step. And she's step. like, uh, can we go now, guys? I thought that part was that yeah, part yeah. was pretty was pretty gnarly. The blood the the blood um like on the faces, it looked like Yeah, we kept talking about that. Yeah. It looked kind of weird. Like it looked like you could see someone like a little dropper going, We're gonna put a little blood here, a little blood there. Strategically placed. Yeah, it looked very strategically placed and it looked it looked kind of like a you know uh, an office Halloween party you know yes, costume yes. you know what I mean like oh I need to have blood okay let me just do a little dabble you know dab here and dab there yeah didn't really look like someone who was actually you don't want to get in the eyes yeah you don't want to get don't get in the actor's eyes you can't do that that's nah. against the <laughs> no um this film did this film did have the uh, I want I want to coin this phrase for all the movies we watch moving forward because I feel like if the movie takes place in the south anywhere. It has to have this, and I call this the Jedediah Clause. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every film that takes place in some kind of backwoods scary thing needs to have what I call a Jedediah. Mm-hmm. And if uh, you're wondering what a Jedediah is, I, I'm taking the name from the, I think it's the 03 remake of Texas Chainsaw, <laughs> where there's that little kid, Jessica Biel goes, what's your name? He goes, Jedediah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the scene in there. Yeah. I, I think I got it. Me and my friends used to say it all. Like when we first saw that <laughs> movie, like we were howling from how funny that shit was. And so we used to just walk around going, Jedediah. <laughs> the whole time. If, it's, if the film takes place in the South, you have to have some little kid who's very, very dirty. Looks like they could probably be adorable, mm-hmm. but probably smells like shit. Yeah. And that's the Jedediah. And this film had this. It had a little girl who was just. Ruthie. Yeah, just she just kept popping up in places. Baby Ruthie, yeah. Yeah, she just would show up here. You'd see all the dirt on her face with her blonde hair, and be like, "Oh, that's a little kid. What's she doing out here?" Yeah, oh, she doesn't talk much because, yeah, she's probably a terrible actress. Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. like, there like, there was, she, they gave her lines, but it's like she's not very good at it. Right, so. We'll just do the silent. Yeah, thing. yeah, the you're, creep, the creepy, you're mute. The yeah. creepy silent kid is the way to. You're mute. Is the way to go. Um, oh, and the, yeah, and then at the uh, <laughs> the note I have here is. <laughs> Why didn't anyone warn them? LOL. What the fuck? Because at the end, when the dad finally like when the dad gets there, like the, like people were just like, look, I told them not to go up like, there. I was like, you five, kind of. If you go exactly five miles off the course, you will find what is called the foundation. Yes. Now the foundation is full of these weirdos. Yes. Like they just spill all the fucking beans. But like when college kids are like, hey, we're gonna like you know go on the trail and goof around. They're like. Think about being careful, maybe. Just be careful. Just be wink. careful. Oh, big old wink. <laughs> Just wink. the biggest fucking wink 
in the world. Oh yeah, the only other note I had was why was ho- why was homeboy progressive getting progressively handsomer? Yeah, every time he looked, he looked better and better. Yeah, at the end of the movie when they're all saved from you know the the the, the trail. Uh, John Henry throws a there's a moonshine Molotov cocktail. <coughs> <laughs> yellow, you know, the guy with the, the yellow liver failure, mm-hmm. um, and there's this big, you know, flame, and and you, and you see the guy with the skull mask on the other side, and he takes it off, and he is giving them smiles. He's giving them. Oh, yeah. He's giving them the he's sexy. Smiles and yeah, he's smizing them, dude. He's he's, he's smizing and smizing. He's like, you ever see me in a catalog? I That's bet right. you have. Yeah, it, it's it, like where do I get that uh, sweater you got on there? That leather, like the, the that, that is, animal, you know. Where, where do I get that animal? Uh, he looked like the was the brown the brawny. <laughs> the, yeah, the, he looked like brawny. Yeah, he, he did. He looked like he was on a paper towel. I kept saying he looked like a young uh, Bob Vila from this old house let later me, on. Look up Bob Vila. Oh, let me see this Bob Vila because he would always wear like the plaid shirt and the, the jeans and do old house stuff. <laughs> but just kind of looks just like. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, see? yeah, he does. <laughs> he wow, like, he, he like... really does. He really does. <laughs> Down so... to the hair and the beard. Yeah. Holy shit. Because Bob Vila looks the same no matter like for like ever. Wow. But yeah, he looked like at like, the end because he had this plaid shirt and like the perfectly tucked into these very crisp blue jeans and like some boots. And... Today we're gonna show you how to make your scare- stairs less squeaky. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> You're like, all right, cool. Got a pencil behind his ear and everything. Yeah, he's like, plus I'm gonna take your daughter because uh, she's pregnant with my child. So the movie ends with uh, Jessica. She's pregnant with the guy's baby. He's like, it's time to come home. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know how they, they, but yeah, like I said, I don't know how they explained it. I don't know how. They... I mean, I guess Matthew Modine would know because he was there. I, I, but everybody else seemed very confused about like why she was pregnant. Yeah, and how do they find them? Like, if they're self-sustaining and like they didn't have like no cell phones or technology or anything, like how did they? I don't even know where they were. Where were they coming from? I don't know, but it looked like it was a bit of a drive because they're like, "Wow, yeah. I want to visit this cool place." Yeah. So that was weird, but then she goes. She she makes the choice. Yes, of course. To go with them because otherwise they'll kill her family yeah they had like a fake out where like they f- like she f- like breaks out some knives and starts fighting them and he like kills her two brothers and and the stepmom and i was like and she like stabs him in the head i was like ah, that's not that's not real and it was it was like her like thinking about it planning it through yeah, yeah. but then she she does go with them twilight uh last movie style Oh yeah, yeah like <laughs> with the, the, with the big giant fight, it's like that's what could happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not. But it's not going to. Welcome to now. Let's all shake hands. So she decides to go with them to this like Winnebago, mm-hmm. <laughs> the baseball style. Yeah, that they have. And again, he looks impeccable. Everybody else is dirt. He's dirty. Oh yeah, and he's just like, I was like, why can't you clean up your other your your buddies? Yeah, the crew. You got to make the crew look good. Like <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if you're gonna go out of town, like yeah. dress up a little. Um, <laughs> like, come on! And so the RV trying to fit in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta stick him like a sore thumb. Yeah. They're driving off in the RV, and then it starts to swerve. Mm-hmm. It hits a car, which well, is a cr- well. Well, first of all, the credits are rolling. Yeah, <laughs> over top of this. Yeah, so you think, oh, this is it. The movie's over. Yeah. She's gonna go with them. Maybe set up a s- sequel. Yeah, called Wrong Turner to Wrong Turnist. Wrong Turnist. The Turnist. Turn- the turn- Turnist goes to prison. <laughs> the, turn- the most turniest. <laughs> the most turniest film. And she apparently just goes on a rampage, stabs all of the people but the little girl and one member. And credits are rolling after all this. I don't know it's why so they decided. Rolling. I don't know why they decided to have the credits roll over this. Like, mm. what? What would the difference of? Mm. Maybe it sounded like a cool idea. Yeah. You know, like, hey, what if we did this during the credits? Yeah. What if we pissed everyone off? And but the movie's not actually over. We actually have three more minutes of the nothing movie. of movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And because in the first wrong turn, it has the fake out where, you know, they're the, the, the inbred mutants are dead. They're very much alive. Yeah. I think they kill like a cop or something like that at the end. And she kills the guy, stabs him a bunch. And then she walks away with the little girl. They both look traumatized, mm-hmm. which That's... is weird. Cause like she's already killed before, you know, <laughs> she spent six weeks, you know, being queen to the foundation. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not like having she, sex with this dude. Like, it's like, you, you you're traumatized. Yeah. Like, like, like it's, <laughs> maybe she went back there. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Like, and she's walking with the little girl who's, 
you know, looking like she just wants to get out of the movie. Yeah. And the camera just hangs on this crashed RV with mm-hmm. dead guy in the middle of the road while the rest of the credits roll. Yeah. And then it just ends. Yeah. There's zero payoff. Nothing. Is that when the title card pops up or is it before that? I think it's before that. Is it before that? Because then it says wrong turn and it then starts the credits and then it's like the RV. The RV crashes and then when it's all done, it's like filmed in Ohio, yeah. Panavision, yeah. blah, blah. And then it just goes to black. And I just feel like it was. there's certain types of movies that could mm. end like that, but they're usually some kind of movies where like there's a lot more to chew on, you mm. know, or it really serves the story. This just kind of felt like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we did that? Mm. But there was zero payoff. There was- Almost like if they had, think about it. If like the RV pulled up to the house and you saw the, the them walk in and then credits roll or something like something like that, right? Like on the the RV outside of their house, so you don't see anything else, and the credits roll over top of that, so you don't know what's happening inside the house, right? That would be like a like a kind of a better it'd way be, to end it. It'd be better than than what they or something like that because then you're like, oh shit, what's going on? So let me ask you this: Say this movie mm-hmm. had a different title. Mm-hmm. Say we we watched The Amazing Adventures of Jessica and Her Father Through the Appalachian gotcha. Trail, yeah. part one okay. of seven. Um, what I, would I, you... I'd probably give it five stars for that title. <laughs> for, <laughs> for sure. Don't be a menace in the Appalachian <laughs> yeah, Trails yeah. while drinking your moonshine in the yeah. forest. Yeah. Um, if, it, if, it was a, if it was a different title, what would you... Would you rate this movie higher if it had a different, if a different uh, title? So I guess what I'm asking. Uh, probably not to be honest. Really? Yeah, I think it was still it still has some issues that had nothing to do with being wrong turned. That's the biggest sin that this movie <laughs> to being turned <laughs> wrong turned. <laughs> the movie committed. I I think if it was titled something differently, mm. I think I think going in with the expectation of mm. previous wrong turns, I think that it t- certainly didn't help it. <laughs> certainly didn't help it. <laughs> no, but I think a title change would alleviate some of that pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I felt during. During it, um, if you had to, if you had to rate this Rotten Tomatoes style, I know it's, it's usually kind of hard to do, but like, where would you, where would you place this, this movie? Because right now, I think it's like, I mean, let me do- double check here, but I'm pretty sure it was like sixty, it's like sixty five, sixty percent, sixty. Yeah. Uh, so I got Bob Villa, Bob Villa, <laughs> Villa on my thing here. Uh, right now, it is currently <laughs> that's, that's sixty-five. That's, that's your first Bob Vila reference. That in is this entire. <laughs> we're, making, we're making we're making history tonight, baby. <laughs> so, run to me as is at sixty percent. Do you sixty-five percent? Do you agree with that? Um, I'd go a little lower, not much lower, but maybe like fifty. I think this movie's fifty yeah. percent. I I give it like two and a half stars. Not quite the three that makes it good, but two and a half, like two is like bad. But two and a half is like probably two, two and a half is like two and a half. I can see two and two, mm-hmm. two and a half. I think yeah, that yeah. that's that's perfect. Yeah. There's some pretty shots. Mm-hmm. Um, when we talk about the uh, the apocalypse now. Oh, that's straight right. up, like straight that's up, like, right. Like pull. They do. They <laughs> all, all 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 he was missing was like a rag for yeah. his head, just to like. I was just saying he should be eating oranges or something because it was like this. Yeah, there's there's a shot when Jessica, I think it's when Jessica basically. Jenny is that Jenny? Oh yeah, Jenny, Jenny, Jen. Was I, have I called her Jessica the whole time? I don't know. You just started. Call, I don't know. I haven't. I, I haven't it's definitely Jen. Jenny though, right? Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like Jen. Okay, I got to remember. That's right, Jen. Which, Jessica Jenny. It's, it's when she's talking to you know King Lear. Yeah, basically. It's all dark, and it's probably the coolest shot in the movie. And he does the, he does the thing where the actor leans into the light, but it's just like the softest glow of orange, and it's orange as well. So it's just like straight out of Apocalypse Now. That you, is, you know, that day they're like, oh yeah, this we're, is the because even he like stands up as if he's like Marlon Brando. He's different. I was like, I was like, he's about to do a monologue, isn't he? Yeah, it yeah. Was, it wasn't as cool as a monologue. Not not as cool, but. You know, you kind of like to see it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you like to see people put it in other yeah, places. Yeah. And so that's what, I'm, that's what, like, you can tell, like, these filmmakers obviously, like, love other movies. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like they <laughs> yes. it's not like they just decided to pull something out of their butt and see if it works. Like, yeah, yeah. they obviously, 
you know, they can they can put some kind of story together. They can get some kind of interesting shots. Mm. They they know how to take homage to the great scenes. Like it's a, mm. it was a great shot in the movie. Mm. But man, it's, it's just kind of the story and the writing is kind of jumbled. Yeah, if they leaned into that whole like Joseph Campbell type of Hearts of Darkness type of, which I feel like is what they were trying to do too with that character, right? And doing like this, you know, they, Colonel Kurt style. But if they just leaned into that more, it would have been better. But yeah, I would, I would definitely see. Let me, let me see who directed this before we we hop off here. Um, I would definitely see another movie by this by this person he did another movie called the domestics i believe how was that i didn't like that one either but well mike nelson you're <laughs> you're, you're a thin ice buddy i mean he's he's uh, now the domestics is 100 percent on rotten <laughs> i saw that because they're like it's got like five five like five reviews does it, and it's yeah. all though i was like Mwah. it's not certified it's not certified but still like chef's kiss <laughs> the fact that you know he could he could say that he could say i got 100 percent rotten to me yeah um, it was a chef's kiss. And there's another it. movie called Summer School, but I don't know when that mm-hmm. that came out in 2006. So I don't know. I think I think I think the the talent is there. Mm-hmm. I think it can happen. It yeah. just didn't happen with this. This movie should not have been called Wrong Turn. Would you recommend this movie to anyone else? Uh, would I? I mean, I hate to be that person, but it would be a good, good like group of friends watching it type of movie yeah i think it's a good kind of like because the gore stuff is fun and like some of the, that violence is like oh like shocking yeah but like a lot of the stuff is like you can kind of like and when you watch with. it with a group of friends you like yell at like their dumb decision making yeah and that's always fun you're like why the fuck would they you know are you legit be like what is he doing what is happening yeah here? i don't know if i would and it's like bill you know the bob vila guy it's like <laughs> he's putting it i mean he's he earned his pay i guess but apparently he was like, "Do not touch my fucking hair! <laughs> Don't you fucking dare!" They're like we want to shave it bald, like nope. Brando. He's like, "You get the fuck out of my office!" As somebody's brushing it, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> constantly <laughs> brushing it, just backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think <clears throat> starting wrong turn the wrong way is yeah. off to a very interesting. I, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if we've. I can't say that we've started. Yeah. I can't say that we've started wrong to the wrong way. Yeah, I yeah. mean we have in the sense of you know we're going down the list. Yeah, but I did not expect that. I did not expect if if you had approached me hours ago and was like you're gonna watch mm-hmm. the wrong turn remake that came out during the pandemic mm-hmm. to start the new series. What do you think is gonna happen? I'm like we're gonna see some, uh, you know, we're gonna see some mutant freaks with mm-hmm. you know updated you know prosthetics and digital effects and cinematography mm-hmm. and it's going to be great mm-hmm. i would not i would not expect <laughs> what we witnessed yeah it's, it's weird because i'd rather have them just like straight up remaking the first one yes than going off the rails as they did in this one yeah if they're trying something new it was like noble but like you really gotta just like swing for the fences to really kind of like i feel like if they were going to do that they should have really the foundation stuff should have been just like fucking bonkers. I um, and it wasn't bonkers enough to be honest. Like because when you start thinking no. about it, it was like, wait, they were kind of like going into town. Yeah, they were, and they were like they were just like you know southern dudes who just didn't want to fight or something. Like I was, yeah like, saw something was happening, so they just was like hold up here. That doesn't make any sense. Did you see the Pet Cemetery remake? <sighs> I don't think I did. This, I think I started, and I think I was kind of bored by it. This kind of reminded me of that a little bit. I love the, the original. I love that first one. The first one's fantastic. The remake... I love the first two. I need to see the second Pet one. Two, they showed the trailer for it when we saw Prom Night 2, mm. which was really fun. Um, I, I, it kind of reminded me of the Pet Cemetery remake in the sense of, like... I. <sighs> The original's there. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is just figure out how to <laughs> how to put your own voice in it and expand on it. Yeah, yeah. And neither of those accomplished that. Mm. And I don't know. I think I think what you said just a couple minutes ago, like, I, I just, if you're gonna redo it, redo the first one, mm-hmm. but like fix what you thought was wrong with it. Yeah, exactly. Enhance it. Mm-hmm. Doing this whole complete 180 thing is, I think, a huge gamble that has like. I don't think it has any payoff. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a horror remake that goes in different directions that's better. 
Like, and you're just, I feel like you're just asking for think. it with that type of like those type of characters and kind of like costume designs. You know what I mean? Like it looked cheap. Yeah. Like there's the, the, they're, they didn't look like they'd been there for hundreds of years. No. It looked like they just thrown on some fake animal pelts and shit. I put some dirt on your faces. Can you get tell me building that little set, hiring all those extras, mm. getting all those props and shit? That's, I mean, maybe that's that was one. That was one shot. After that, they were all underground. Yeah, yeah, the one shot. And that was it. Damn, you're right. You do that one shot one day. That's it. But everything else is always in the dark or in the little cavern with like the three people and like the bones on the wall. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like they probably shot that at some sort of like Renaissance fair or something. I they had to. Have. I don't. I don't know. But I wish they would have just went balls to the wall the first one. Yeah, yeah. Don't call it wrong turn. Mm-hmm. But I will say that this is the first entry into the wrong, watching wrong turn the wrong way. And even though it wasn't what we wanted, I am it doesn't doesn't deter me from going yeah. forward. I I feel like I I know this we're <laughs> it's day one it's day one yeah, yeah. like I'm still fresh like you know this yeah. is round one like I got I got beat up a little bit coach but I'm ready to go back in there get, get, yes check check in on me at wrong turn three do you know what I mean that's like, 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 <laughs> we're working way back and we're at three we're like, okay. but that's the, that's the beauty of it I know where we're, I know where we're going we're yeah. going to the mecca yeah, yeah. we're going to mm-hmm. see some Stan Winston kick assery like yeah. i i see the vision brother we're going yeah, yeah. so we just got to make it through you know the these hard parts so going into uh the next film which will be wrong turn six last resort okay i'm bring it on yeah i'm not scared i i will say this i'm looking at it right now hour 31 runtime that's nice. that's already given me that's already given me mm-hmm. uh good vibes can you give me a synopsis on that let's get a synopsis Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Guess. You'll never guess. Salivating. What, you'll never guess what the synopsis is of this okay. one. All right. I think people will actually make a wrong turn in this one. A group of... Deep in the hills of West Virginia, Danny is introduced to the family he has never known when he learns they follow taboo rituals, including cannibals, and he's related to the guy. <laughs> That's what we're getting to next. This is awesome. Yeah. He is tempted by the forbidden and has to choose between his friends and his bloodline. Yeah. I'm down. Wow. Do you think that's what they were trying to pull off with the foundation? Was like I, thought, I think like so. Bloodline. I think we're about to find out. I yeah. think we could see where they were maybe trying I, to pull I, from. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's that'll be the the the, the point of this. It's like, oh wait, a bunch of stuff in wrong. T- the, the, this last wrong turn is wrong turn six going to explain? Yeah, <laughs> wrong turn <laughs> retroactively remake, so. explain everything. That would be so cool. <laughs> I get done for that. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited for wrong turn six. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried at all. Yeah. Uh, for the people listening, I would love to know how you feel about the wrong turn franchise. I want to know what are we getting into? Cause uh, you've seen the first two. Mm. I've only seen the first one and, and this most recent one. So, so there's five of them that I've no idea what to get into. No. So I want to know what's your favorite wrong turn film. What are we to expect? <laughs> and let us know if we have a five star review on, uh, on iTunes. Let us know. That's where it's at. I want to see some of those. Yeah. You know, tell us what you tell tell us if you would if, if six weeks at a, at a at a West Virginian resort would make you want to stay and throw away all of your life, yeah, and get rid of internet. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see you there. Uh, make the right turn, and, <laughs> and 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 follow us on Spotify and <laughs> Apple and give us those reviews. And until next time, stay scary. Watch a bunch of horror movies. We'll see you at Wrong Turn Six. Well, that's the last. May I have your attention, please? Get you, Barbara. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Horror. Something even more terrible than you.